Hey everybody, it's Brookie with Nightbird Tarot. I just wanted to come on and uh, talk about a couple of things that are very widespread right now on social media, YouTube, a lot of uh, different tarot pages. I've noticed this as well as articles on on different New Age sites, etc. And I'm coming on sans makeup. <laughs> I have no makeup on. Um, let's just keep it real, shall we? A couple of things I wanted to talk about. Number one, Doreen Virtue. OMG. <laughs> wow, I've never seen so many people up in arms and still continuing to write and speak about it. If you have been living under a rock, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Doreen Virtue, who has been a pillar of the New Age community for the last 20 years, she has converted to Christianity back in January. She kind of indirectly came out about it in April, and just about a week ago, I think, she formally made a video about it. She has converted to Christianity, and many people in the New Age community, especially tarot readers or tarot enthusiasts are up in arms about her renouncing the tarot or publicly denouncing it I guess denounce renounce um she's denounced the tarot and she's been a guiding light for many especially with her angel courses, her angel certification, her books, her oracle decks, yada, yada, yada. Doreen Virtue has also been, has also been very much uh, a little bit too sugary sweet uh, for a lot of people in the New Age community. Um, too much love and light, uh, too kind of fluffy in the New Age community. And a lot of people in the New Age community don't, follow her teachings or never have. I only own two oracle decks from her and one book so I've always admired her from afar. She has um, been pretty much mainstream for the last 20 years. Um, Doreen Virtue has converted to Christianity I've watched a few videos about other people's opinions on YouTube. I've read articles. I've seen uh, open letters written about it to her. And the fact that she has spoken about how she's, I believe she has ascended. She has ascended to a higher calling. If it's Christianity for her, fine. If it was Buddhism, fine. If it was, you know, Judaism, fine. She chose Christianity, which is not shocking considering her angel work. It's not shocking to me at all. I don't think it's that much of a big deal. However, I will say this. What bothers me is to publicly denounce the tarot, and she has stated she doesn't believe the tarot is evil. But to publicly denounce the tarot, to stop all royalties from her tarot decks, is a big deal. She has made a lot of money in the last 20 years on creating these decks, on creating her beliefs and on her teachings. Now she's retracting some of those beliefs. What bothers me is, is not Christianity itself. What bothers me is, is the fear-based notion that divination or the tarot itself is something that is evil or draws in evil. She spoke about how she never really trusted her clairvoyance. She never really trusted her channeling. She felt that she would channel in sometimes lower vibrational things. 
She's very specific about calling upon Jesus Christ. She says, she states, I don't say Jesus Christ in my prayers. I state Jesus Christ of Nazareth because she believes just stating Jesus Christ is going to attract uh, lower vibrational spirits or ent entities. But the Tarot itself, of course, is not spoken about in the Bible. Fortune telling, of course, is spoken about in the Bible. Prophecy is spoken about in the Bible. The fact of the matter is, the Bible itself, as a spiritual book, is very much a prophetic book. Many people use it as a book of prophecy. Okay, so... I think Doreen Virtue, in her life, on her life path, has heard the call, and it works for her. Whatever structure it's bringing to her life, if it's bringing her closer in her marriage, if it's bringing her closer to her circle, however it's helping her. To follow the teacher is one thing. To follow the teachings is another. So... I've never put her on a pillar. I've never worshipped during virtue. I never spent the money to get her angel certifications. I, I didn't invest that much money or time with Doreen virtue. So it's not that uh, I'm, I'm not upset about it. I'm passionate about what's going on as, as a lot of people are. Okay, that's one thing. Another thing is, I think many times, and she did state this, in the New Age community, she felt that a lot of people in the New Age community are a bit of a mess. Well, that's kind of interesting, considering what we've heard and known about uh, circles and different religions the New Age community is so broad, it's so huge, there's so many different things that you can dabble in. And she did dabble in a lot of different areas in her life, uh, career-wise, before she came out 20 years ago as being a certified angel master and writing these books and putting out her, you know, popping out her decks every year. Uh, she was... A marriage counselor she wrote about child custody she wrote a book about chocoholics you know she was a licensed psychologist I know that she has her PhD uh, with psychology or something along those lines so she's dabbled in other things as many creative people do so it's not that she is retracting everything that she's written about she just now holds a strong belief that she I guess is not going to do anything that is considered uh, demonic or evil in terms of fortune telling which is a great misconception um, it's something that is very much based upon fear and that to me is kind of the weird part. It's kind of the weird part. People in the New Age community sometimes can be a bit pretentious. Pretentious in the manner of silly things. <laughs> there can be a lot of pretentiousness a lot of, oh, my system's better than your system. I've met people like this. I've come across it myself. That does not mean that one person knows more than the other person. And I just feel that she has ascended for whatever reasons Doreen Virtue has heard the call. She's ascended. She she believes in uh, mono, monotheism. She's uh, 
the polytheistic decks that she's had. Uh, she's taken or tweaked those decks a little bit. Her goddess goddesses decks. I don't know if it's god and goddesses or something like that. And she's she's retracting that. If she believes in one true God, if she believes in Christianity, if she wants to call upon Jesus Christ of Nazareth, um, if that helps her connect better, if that helps her uh, become stronger in herself, if that enables her healing qualities. And I really always looked at Doreen Virtue as, oh my God, the cat just scared the crap out of me. I always looked at Doreen Virtue as more of a healer, as more of a healer. And I still think that she is. Um, so that's, it's still being talked about to this day. <laughs> I got up this morning and was seeing articles that were just fresh off the press about this. It's still being talked about. I wanted to come on and just talk about how I feel about it. There's a hundred other YouTubers doing the same thing. Uh, this is just my opinion. But, you know, let the woman be, honestly. If this is what she feels that she needs in her life spiritually to ascend and on her life path at her age, at her point in her career, then perhaps her, transen her transcendence may help someone who has never even heard of her before. And that's what being in service is to other people spiritually, I believe. She's made a shit ton of money. I don't think the money is that important to her right now. I think that she is going to find a totally different demographic now uh, with converting to Christianity. Uh, so it's been a letdown for a lot of people in the New Age community. I was never a hardcore Doreen Virtue fan. I respect her, and I've always looked at her as a bit of a healer. She's a healer, um, an empath, however you want to call it. So anyway, that's Brookie's opinion. And it's a rainy day here in West Virginia. It's full moon in Pisces, which I'm a Pisces. And uh, I just felt the emotional need. Uh, since the mo full moon's in Pisces, it's a very emotional, needy day and sensitive. So Anyway, if you have any comments, leave your comments below. If you have any shared opinions, um, it's open forum. So take care, everybody, and I'll speak to you soon.